Hello kids, welcome to the maths class. Today's topic is Rules of Divisibility. Today we are going to discuss Divisibility Rule of 5 and 10. The main objective of today's learning is to understand the Divisibility Rule of 5 and 10. A Divisibility Rule is a shorthand way of finding out whether a given number is divisible by a fixed divisor without doing the long division, usually by examining its digits. We must remember we use this symbol to denote that the number is divisible and we use this symbol to denote that the number is not divisible. Now let's discuss the divisibility rule of 5. If the last digit is 5 or 0, then the whole number is divisible by 5. Let us take one example. Is 50 divisible by 5? According to the rule, let us look at the last digit. The last digit is 0. So, the rule says if the last digit is 0 or 5, then the whole number is divisible by 5. So over here, the last digit is 0. That is divisible by 5. Therefore, 50 is divisible by 5. Let us take one more example. Is 9876 divisible by 5? Now, let us look which is the last digit of this number. So, 6 is the last digit. The rule says if the last digit is only 5 or 0, then the whole number is divisible by 5. But look over here, the last digit is neither 0 nor 5. That means the last digit 6 is not divisible by 5. Therefore, 9876 is not divisible by 5. Let us solve more examples. Now, let us take some examples. Look at the first one. Is 925 divisible by 5? Now, what is the rule of 5? If the last digit is 0 or 5, then the whole number is divisible by 5. What we have to see? That if the last digit is 0 or 5, now, what is the last digit? 5. That means it is divisible by 5. Let us write last digit. Is equal to 5. And it is divisible by 5. So, according to the rule, the whole number is divisible by 5. Therefore, 925 is divisible by 5. Now, let us see the next one. Is 2010, 2010 is divisible by 5. What is the rule of 5? Let us read. If the last digit is 0 or 5, then the whole number is divisible by 5. Which is the last digit? That is 0. So that means it is divisible by 5 because in the rule it is written if the last digit is 0 or 5 then it will be divisible by 5. So let us write last digit is equal to 0 is divisible by 5. So, according to the rule, the whole number is divisible by 5. Therefore, 2010 is divisible by 5. Now, let's discuss the divisibility rule of 10. If the last digit is 0, then the whole number is divisible by 10. Let's understand with an example is 4960 divisible by 10. Let us look at the last digit. The last digit is 0. 
As the rule says, if the last digit is 0, then the whole number is divisible by 10. So, over here, last digit is 0, it is divisible by 10. Therefore, 4960 is divisible by 10. Let us take one more example. Is 505 divisible by 10? Now, let us look at the last digit, that is 5. The rule says, if the last digit is 0, then the whole number is divisible by 10. Since the last digit over here is not 0, it is 5, which is not divisible by 10. Therefore, 505 is not divisible by 10. Now, let's solve more examples. Now, let us take some examples. Look at the first one is... 4925 divisible by 10. What is the rule of 10? If the last digit is 0, then the whole number is divisible by 10. We just have to look whether the last digit is 0 or not. If the last digit is 0, that means the whole number is divisible by 10. If the last digit is not 0, that means it is not divisible by 10. So, which is the last digit? That is 5. That means it is not divisible by 10 because the last digit is 5. It is not 0. So, let us write last digit is equal to 5. It is not divisible by 10. So, according to the rule, the whole number is not divisible by 10. Therefore, 4925 is not divisible by 10. Now, let us look at the next one. Is 7010 divisible by 10? What is the rule of 10? Let us read. If the last digit is 0, then the whole number is divisible by 10. Which is the last digit? This one. And this is 0. That means it is divisible by 10. So let us write last digit is equal to 0. It is divisible by 10. So according to the rule, the whole number is divisible by 10. So therefore, 7000 10 is divisible by 10. Let's recall what we have learned today. First of all, we have learned the divisibility rule of 5. That is, if the last digit is 5 or 0, then the whole number is divisible by 5. So, following the rule, in each sum, we have to look for the last digit. If the last digit is 0 or 5, then the whole number will be divisible by 5. Then we have learnt the divisibility rule of 10. That is, if the last digit is 0, then the whole number is divisible by 10. Again, following the rule, we have to look for the last digit. If the last digit is 0, then the whole number will be divisible by 10. I hope kids, you have understood the divisibility rule of 5 and 10. Now, complete the sums that has been given to you in your SNAP homework. Thank you.